gonna miss this girl. Hey, old girl. Who's the most prettiest girl in all the land? Hmm? Hey, fricker. Bye-bye, Dad. Bye-bye, love you. This is like the most smallest car I've ever been in. It's perfect for me. <laughs> Play the peekaboo, bruh. We're waiting over here for a lift right now. Oh, planet church.
everybody, we are out here, out here at Trump Tower, well, Trump International Hotel in Las Vegas. We've just been calling him Trump Tower because it sounds pretty cool. Anyhow, this is that tall, dark, and handsome, not me, the coffee. I know, you're not that dark. Turn the light off, it'll get darker. Oh, that's good coffee, bro. Mmm. Oh. Anyhow, I think that's decaf. But we are here at the Trump uh, International Hotel in Las Vegas. Wow, we've stayed at quite a few hotels, bro, like the Sheratons, the Hiltons, all the Marriott's, because every time we go traveling around, we're always in hotels. This has been my most favorite hotel, bro, out of all the hotels. Even just the little tiny things, yeah, but this is a good hotel. Real quick, I gotta show you what we picked up over here. They have a little Trump store that I was telling you. They got like all the Make America Great hats and stuff like that. You gotta see what I grabbed. Check this out. How's this freaking mug? This thermos. Check them out, bro. What is this? Instructions, care tips, and whatnot. How's that? I went with this one because it looked like it was engraved. I was going to grab a mug, and there was another one, but it looked like it was just kind of printed on. I was worried about it, like, fading out after wash, after wash, after wash. But I saw this one. It's like, feels like it's engraved. So I figured it would last a little bit longer. I like the white and silver. It feels so nice and clean. So we scored this. And you guys got to see what else we got. Check this out. How's this bar? This silver bar. So Trump silver bar. It's actually dark chocolate. I was going to grab the gold bar, but that's the milk chocolate. I don't like milk chocolate. Too sweet. It's going to hurt my teeth, but this one's a dark chocolate, so we're going to try this out right now, bro. See how she goes. I love chocolate, so gotta go good, yeah? Oh, fancy, fancy. How's the opening like that? Look like a Christmas present. Oh, even the chocolate says chomp on it. Hard to see. Open this bad boy up. We'll give him a quick sample. But this hotel is mean. I never stayed in... Well, we've had jacuzzi before, but this one is huge. But I can fit inside. Me and my wife can fit inside together, dude. And it's like, by the jets. Feels so good pumping that water on your freaking back. How's that? Solid chocolate. Mmm. Take another bite. Cost it five bucks. Not bad. We've been to a lot of hotels. We're in the Caesar's Palace. We went over there and we got to eat at the food court inside. Wow, oh, you know what's in the salad over there cost? $19. You know how much one slice of pizza? 11 bucks. And the water is like $6.99. But I got myself one slice of pizza, one salad, one drink from one bottle of water for my wife, and one small like drink for me. $45. I was like, what? It's like airport prices, bro. Anyhow, our stay here at the Chum Tower was freaking mean. The bed was nice. A little on small size. It was like a queen. That's pretty much it. They still worked well. We still had good sleep. It's just when I laid on it, I was like, I'm not used to my pillows. But my pillows at home, they're super fluffy, but they're super good. I got like big pillows at home. We got like a helix bed. We were staying at some hotels and I was like, what kind of bed is this? It's the best bed I ever slept on. About a couple thousand dollars for grabbing one helix bed. So this bed is pretty good, but I miss my bed at home. But they put us up on the 57th floor. And I love this place, but one of the things that I noticed, they have like separate elevators for separate parts of the building. Like floors from here to here, take this elevator. Floors from here to here, take this elevator. Floors from here over here, take this elevator. So, and there's like four elevators per section. So it's like, you never have to wait. But the whole time we've been staying here, every time I push that button, bing, 
an elevator pops open, bro. So I'm like, there's like no waiting, dude. Except this one time, this Chinese guy came in with his family. I think he was tired because like, when the elevator was going, he was like kind of like staggering back and forth. And he, he bumped up against the, the side of the elevator and he the shoulder pushed all the buttons up. I was like, what? But because it's only like sections, it's only like 15, 20 floors. <laughs> but still, we yeah, it wasn't too bad. But he was like, I'm sorry. I'm just, I had a long day. I was like, I hear that, dude. It's been hot, man. And the house... Enjoying the drinks out here, bro. This is a wonderful hotel. The service here is nuts, bro. I've never stayed in a hotel like this. It's too boshy for us, bro. We pulled up. The valley driver comes out. He's like, hey, how's it going? You guys here? You got a phone? I took, take my phone number. He jumps in the car. Some other guy came with this little push rack thing. He grabbed all our stuff, bro. It's just like in the movies. Takes it up to our room. Bro. He said, just go up to your room. We'll bring it up to you. Bro, we came up here. Check out the room. Bing bong, brother man, come. Delivers all of our stuff, bro. I was like, this place is nice, dude. They even got like massages. They got a spa. They got like a, a kitchen that's open from like 6.30 or 6 o'clock to like 10 o'clock at night. They cook you all kinds of stuff, bro. There's like fish and chips. There's chicken tenders, hamburgers. Bro, this, this hotel is loaded. It's beautiful. Just from the outside, super clean. Gold and white, bro. Chandeliers gold trim all over the place this hotel is nice in fact i told my wife you know what after staying here at the trump tower or the trump hotel i was like from now on whenever i go travel i'm gonna look for a trump hotel bro wherever we go i'm gonna see if there's a trump hotel because this hotel has been the best hotel even the ground bro. i've probably been like i don't know i'm not like a, a, re a hotel connoisseur but i've probably been about maybe i don't know 20 30 different hotels and I've never had a hotel where even the flooring is good. Like, you know, I know the floors are all dirty at hotels, but this one, like, I knelt down on this floor. Bro, the flooring was soft. It wasn't, like, shag carpeting or anything, but it wasn't all scratchy feeling. It wasn't all freaking rough. It didn't, like, hurt my knees. So I felt like, wow, that's one thing that, that stood out to me when I knelt down on the carpet. I told my wife, hey, you know what? This carpet's different, bro. This carpet doesn't hurt my knees. It doesn't all scratchy and rough, dude. So we're like, yeah, this place is nice. We got a nice view of all the, this, we got a nice view of all the city lights. Mm. All dark and handsome. That's what this coffee is. And this chocolate's pretty good. We'll probably finish this off tonight. I know this is like nighttime. I got like 10 o'clock at night. I'm over here drinking coffee, eating chocolate. There's worse things we could be doing. We smoke crack or something. At least we're not doing that. At least we're not gambling and drinking ourselves into oblivion. Some chocolate and coffee, bro. Anyhow, as far as our stay here at the Trump Hotel, about five stars all the way, dude. This thing is nice. The people here, everybody's friendly. Everybody's got a smile on. It's almost like Disneyland. Whenever we had to come up to our car, the people are so cheerful. They pass that good vibe on. So, boy, you start your day off nice. You come walking out. Everybody's smiling. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going, bro? Hey, how you doing, bro? It's... It's almost like a howly kind of a Hawaii, dude. People are friendly. People wave at you. They, they nod at you. They, it's, I don't know. I noticed that, though. But I told my wife, like, you know what? From now on, if we go to a hotel, check for a Trump hotel. But I did. I saw, probably saw one in New York because we're planning on going to New York later on. 756 bucks for one night. I gotta save for that. Because after coming here, I don't wanna go back to freaking Best Western. Freak that place, man. They got so much stuff here. Anyhow, I bought myself a little memento so I can remember this place. I took some pictures. What else did we get? I think that's it. 
All I got was this cup and the chocolate and some Pepto-Bismol, just in case. Because you never know. Uh, always be prepared. But yeah, as far as hotels go, Trump Tower is wonderful, dude. I love it. It's located on Fashion Boulevard, but it's like, it's so near close to everything. There's like, I don't even know. But I feel like everywhere we go, it's just like two, three, two, three miles away. It's pretty much close to everything. There's like plate lunch places, Poke Heaven is just around the corner. Well, it's like two miles away. But Poke Heaven, Aloha Kitchen, we stopped over there. We got beef stew. Bro, I love beef stew. It reminds me of home. They had beef stew. Bro, we got garlic chicken, beef stew, poke bowls. Even got a guava nectar to drink on my way home. But anyhow, bro, Trump Hotel is mean. If you guys are looking for a good hotel, they're going to treat you nice over there. Go check this place out. It's right off Fashion Boulevard. It's located okay around everything over here, but the strip is just around the corner. There's like, there's ice machines here to even give you an ice pail, an ice bucket in case you need ice. So you just got to go down. It's by the elevator. There's an ice room over there. Anyhow, I better go. I just want to come out here and tell you guys about this hotel. She's really, really good. And if we come back again, we're going to stay over here. Go check them out. Anyhow, Trump Hotel, bro. Catch you guys later.